Sir Handel had been naughty, so Sir Topham Hatt made him stay in the shed for a while. Peter Sam was now busier than ever. He had to do Sir Handel's work as well as his own. He was very excited, and the firemen found him hard to handle. <clears throat> Anyone would think that he wanted to work, said Sir Handel, who was lonely and bored. All respectable engines do, replied Scarloe. Keep calm, Peter Sam, and you'll do well. But Peter Sam was in such a state that he couldn't listen. He collected some coaches and went on his way. But somehow, the faster he wanted to go, the slower the journey became. When Peter Sam finally fussed into the station, Henry was already there. This won't do, youngster, said Henry. I can't be kept waiting. If you are late tonight, I'll go off and leave your passengers behind. <laughs> said Peter Sam. Secretly, he was a little worried, but not for long. The conductor blew his whistle and waved his green flag. Peter Sam puffed happily away, singing a little song. I'm Peter Sam, I'm running this line. I'm Peter Sam, I'm running this line. What fun it all is, he thought, as he journeyed along the line. The coaches enjoyed themselves too. They were growing fond of Peter Sam. Every afternoon, they had to wait an hour at the station by the lake. The station has a little shop selling refreshments. The conductor, fireman, and the guard buy tea and cakes from the refreshment lady. At last, the waiting was over, and Peter Sam was sizzling with impatience. Beep, beep, hurry up, please, he whistled to the passengers. How awful, he thought, if we miss Henry's train. The conductor was ready with his flag and whistle. The refreshment lady was making her way to the train. Then it happened. The conductor says that Peter Sam was too impatient. Peter Sam says he was sure he heard a whistle. Anyway, he started. Stop! 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 wailed the coaches. You've left the refreshment lady behind. Bother! groaned Peter Sam. We're sure to miss Henry now. The refreshment lady climbed aboard, and they started again. Peter Sam didn't sing anymore. Instead, he hurried along the line as fast as his wheels and his driver would let him. They arrived at the big station just in time. Hurrah, said Peter Sam. He felt very relieved. Not bad, youngster, said Henry loftily, but the refreshment lady was still cross. What do you mean by leaving me behind? I'm sorry, refreshment lady, replied Peter Sam, but Henry said he might leave without us. Then the refreshment lady laughed. You silly engine. Henry was teasing you. He wouldn't have gone without our passengers. He's a guaranteed connection. Well, said Peter Sam, where's that Henry? But Henry had chortled away. 